hey guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to talk or maybe discuss about what the job scene is going to be in the coming next two years uh, 2024 and 2025 so we are already at the end of 2023 in next couple of months we'll be entering 2024 so yeah let's get started so i mean if you go back a couple of years like 2020 start of the pandemic it was like a blissful year for the software industry there was like hundreds and thousands of jobs people going remote uh, no need to go to office i mean it was a blessing for software engineers covid covid was actually a blessing uh, for a lot of engineers uh, jobs were plenty there was something called the great resignation where people were switching jobs right getting twice or thrice the amount of money they were getting in their previous jobs i mean i myself switched uh, during the great resignation so it was a, i mean it there were good times right a couple of years back but then during the end of 2021 and the starting of 2022 things were not as bright as they used to be companies were not reporting profits there were uh, layoffs i mean mass layoffs from big companies like salesforce facebook google hundreds and amazon hundreds and thousands of people were laid off and and the layoff happened like very recently i mean if you go back like six months from now six seven months there were still uh, people getting laid off and i mean today even today uh, a month back i saw there was layoffs happening in like bits and pieces but not as uh, rigorous as it was like uh, maybe a year back but uh the market has also improved in the last six months. So if I am to show you my LinkedIn, okay, let me just go. So I'll be looking that way. So you can see companies like NVIDIA, they're hiring, right? Salesforce, I mean, Salesforce almost fired almost 10,000 people. But now you can see, I mean, I mean, for a good year, I didn't see any job uh, from Salesforce on my LinkedIn job portal. But now I see they're hiring Salesforce, DevOps, DevOps architect, uh, senior DevOps, NVIDIA is hiring. Uh, Google is hiring, right? So the job market, I mean, if I see from last four to five months is opening up. And even if we go back to the layoffs, uh, I think the site reliability and the DevOps engineers were one of the least affected people. So people were affected, I mean, from recruitment, from sales, marketing, but the DevOps and the site reliability, I mean, there were companies who, who did fire a lot of engineers uh, from dev core development background to DevOps and site reliability. But if you look at the overall percentage, I think we were like in a good place, even when the layoffs were happening. And even the people who were laid off, they found the job very quickly in some other company. So it was not like that people are still jobless. I mean, I still see people who are still jobless, got fired in 2022, but haven't got any job until now. So it's, it's it was not as bad as for other people, I mean, for us, right? So things things were bad, uh, I agree, but not as bad as, as for a few people I know. So now, but uh, you can see the job market is opening up. Uh, it is expanding. Uh, companies are beginning to hire uh, especially with the advent of AI and ML, uh, they are needing people who who are going to build the infrastructure for AI and ML, right? And good thing about DevOps and site reliability is that uh, even though AI and ML will affect the software industry, but it is not going to affect the DevOps and site reliability space as much as it's going to affect other spaces, right? Because, I mean, you do need a software engineer to build the infrastructure where AI and ML thingy, the software, the application is going to run. And then I know, I mean, this kind of stuff we do, uh, it's very difficult for some AI program to replicate the kind of troubleshooting, the kind of uh, configuration management. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, people who are DevOps and site level engineer, they would know. Uh, it's very difficult to replicate what we do by an AI program. It can come close. I'm not saying that maybe in next 10 years, 15 years, you never know. I mean, you have chat GPT who would have thought, I mean, there would be something like a chat GPT five years from now, right? So I'm not saying that it is not possible. Uh, there would be some AI technology that would come close to replicating our jobs, but I don't see that happening for next 10 years at least. Uh, 
yeah so now coming to the jobs uh, for next years and maybe next to next year in 2024 and 2025 i mean i see that we are in a good place right now and i would see something like a great resignation happening maybe in next year year and a half again there will be plethora of jobs people would move from one company to another it was like people moving from one company to another right money would be good uh, i don't see the salary package is getting stagnant or anything like that it's not going to happen i mean the technology is expanding so much uh, and people you have to pay for the knowledge right you have to pay if if someone is bringing that kind of knowledge to your uh, organization you have to pay for that right so yeah i don't see the salary packages getting stagnant or the jobs going anywhere i mean that is what my take is on for next year and a half maybe at least for a good part of 2025 and maybe i my myself might switch in in next year and a half i mean you never know i mean if you get twice of what you are earning uh, yes and another thing is the age age factor so 10 years from now there were a lot of 20 25 years average age in the software industry was like 25 26 years but now i mean those people who were 25 10 years back are now 35 myself included so now the average age has also gone up and and what else i mean i i had a very good point i just skipped it just skipped my mind yeah i got it and 10 years from now i mean 10 years back from now software was actually a very good prospect for a lot of youngsters right they wanted to become software engineers but now i mean you have so much of social media people have actually changed i mean the sense of uh becoming something i mean it has completely changed now people want to become influencers right they want to do something on instagram or maybe youtube they want to run a youtube channel maybe sing or do something i mean which is very unconventional from Uh, software engineering or the core jobs which we used to have like 10 years back so it's not so another the age factor is not going to affect this industry again again i'm saying that so if i mean i i get a lot of questions from people like uh, what would happen if i'm 45 years of age and i'm in software industry what do, what would be my future i mean what my future would be in a software industry and trust me it is not going to affect i mean the age is not going to affect because software industry is going to need experienced people and some 20 year old will probably will not have that kind of knowledge or experience which probably a 45 year i mean i know today learning is very easy and technology is getting i mean it's expiring very fast i mean there are techs which were not existing 5 years from now 5 years back from now and there are techs which probably i mean which exist today but maybe not exist 5 years from now <coughs> so so that's that's i mean that's part and parcel of this industry so you cannot change that but yeah i mean age is not going to affect this industry as far as i can see because the mindset of a youngster is changing i mean in my age when i was in my college i wanted to learn software i wanted to learn linux i wanted to learn do software development wanted to create something but if i go back now to a college student their mindset is different i mean now they they want they don't want to do conventional things they want to become instagram influencers and stuff like that so yeah we that's that's another point i had so i think that's pretty much it i had uh, if you disagree with any of my points uh, i mean feel free because this is a free, free country i cannot hold you for that but yeah that's pretty much it i have for this video i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching